Welcome to the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Wednesday, March 10th. Over the last two weeks, we've seen precipitation remain in the north across parts of Idaho, Wyoming, and parts of the higher terrain of Utah and northeast Nevada, with very dry conditions over southern areas. Over the last 72 hours, we have had some new snowfall in the Sierra last night and also this morning over parts of western Nevada. And then we did see snowfall recently in the last three days over parts of the higher terrain of Idaho, Wyoming, and northern Utah. Our snowpack is still below normal over the southern half of the Great Basin and near normal in the far north. Our satellite image from this morning shows a strong area of low pressure near the northern California coast, which will continue moving south and east. This will continue bringing gusty winds to the Great Basin with stronger winds down south today and also new snow showers over western Nevada and also snow showers developing over southern areas as well. Later this afternoon, you can see the weather pattern with moisture spreading across the Great Basin and those gustier winds down south. We will see good dispersion in the south and eastern portion of Utah where those winds will be stronger and then poor dispersion up north in those weaker winds near that area of low pressure. So again, today, the strongest winds will be over southern areas where we will see wind gusts generally in the 30s, but certainly some gusts above 40 miles per hour. Mixing heights will remain high across the southern half of the Great Basin and low up north. On Thursday, this area of low pressure will continue moving south and east, keeping snow showers over the southern half of the Great Basin and rain in the lowest elevations. Ventilation indices will remain high over parts of northern Nevada and over into southern areas of the Great Basin, again, where winds are gustier. So we will see those gusty southwest winds over the Arizona Strip and southern Utah, and gusty northeast winds on the north side of the low over parts of northwest Nevada into southern Idaho. Mixing heights will remain low to moderate. On Friday, we will see that area of low pressure track east into northern Arizona and Utah, keeping the bulk of the moisture over the southern and eastern half of the Great Basin, with drier conditions but still breezy winds over northern and western Nevada. Winds on Friday will be gusty still across central and southern Nevada into western Utah with those north winds on the backside of the low, and the strongest southwest winds will move a little bit further south and east of the geographic area. The forecast clearing index for Utah is indicated here with pretty high clearing indices over the southern and eastern half of Utah with those gusty winds both today and tomorrow, and then we will see conditions drop off a little bit on Friday. Precipitation will be felt across Nevada and Utah and the Arizona Strip with these next systems moving through over the next few days. So we will have some good amounts of precip even over parts of southern areas, especially in the higher terrain. And again, this is much needed precipitation as we've seen very dry conditions and moderate to high fire danger, on, especially on windy days as we did see a large fire in the Ely District yesterday. So we will see some moderation of our fire danger as this moisture moves through over the next few days. Moving into Saturday, this area of low pressure moves well off to the east. We have brief high pressure ridging across the Great Basin on Saturday, but you can see another area of low pressure which will be moving into the area later in the weekend and next week. So on Sunday, we will see winds pick up across the Great Basin as that area of low pressure moves in. and We will see some precipitation in the far north and western areas, and then that system quickly moves across the Great Basin on Monday. So again, another day of gusty winds and some precipitation moving across mainly the northern half of the Great Basin, but certainly some showers are possible in southern areas of Utah as well. On Tuesday, we will see that system exit, and we have another system off the west coast, which will impact the area later in the week. The forecast amount of precipitation with this next system from late Saturday through Monday shows generally light amounts of precipitation, but certainly some cooler temperatures, some gusty winds, and at least some higher humidity for parts of southern areas of the Great Basin. The 8 to 14 day outlook from March 17th through the 23rd, we will have an active period over this next week to 10 days with systems moving through, bringing precipitation even to southern areas. But later in March, we'll likely see more of a return of warmer temperatures and drier conditions over southern areas and some cooler temperatures and the precipitation shifting a little bit further north later in the month. That concludes our webcast for today. Check back on Friday for the latest updates.